welcome to the Hollywood Hood Girl 2 movie. Thank y'all so much for coming. Hello, y'all. Thank y'all for coming back. Yes. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food or snack. Let's sit and chat with this one only hood girl to the hood. So, y'all, you know, the production is pasta. The director is meat sauce. Okay, y'all. We got one more day in August. This is scene... This is scene two, take four. You ready? Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? I'm so glad you keep coming back. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay? So, look here. Let's say prayers. We're going to dig in. Y'all probably already see what we're eating. Mm-hmm. Can I pull it back just a little? Uh-huh. Father God, thank you once again for this beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for allowing us to see a new day. Forgive us of the sins that we committed against you, Lord, by any word, deed, or thought. Allow us another chance to get it right and to do it right. Thank you for the pastors that you put in place to teach us, to guide us. Have your way, Lord, your way only. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, yeah. So, we have a cocktail. So, let's toast to all of you, young, old, and different. Thank you for coming. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers. That's good. Yeah. I make um, a cucumber, tomato, and red onion salad. Uh, so I made some today. It really is good. It has some uh, salt, black corn, pepper, um, a tad bit of sugar, and some Italian dressing. You you mix it up and you, you allow it to sit for at least two hours in the refrigerator. Okay, honey. I tell you, it is so doggone good. And, and a pinch of salt, y'all. But today we have some spaghetti. Homemade spaghetti. Here you go. Look at that. We about to dig in and that, y'all know. All right, y'all. I'm hungry. I don't know if I want hot sauce. Oh, before I forget, y'all know, because I get to talking and eating. Who remembered these pies? <laughs> Look at that. Who remember them pies? I had to get one. I, so I think I'm going to warm it up, y'all. So look, without ado. Oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, look at that. That girl be cooking. Uh, I wanted to do the baked spaghetti from uh, Judy Carwell, but I, ain't, I didn't have all my cheeses that I wanted, y'all. So, but we will do it though. But let me get y'all, but I did put some cheese on here when I heated it up. Yeah. Ooh. Man. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be so good. Ooh -wee. Okay, y'all. Well, I don't wanna give it to y'all so raggedy. But here's your bite. Uh oh, it's about to, it's about to, it's about to pile. Woo. Yum yum, give me some. Y'all, I'm ready. Whew, this has been a great quiet day for me. Y'all, guess what I was looking at? Y'all know David to Tara, uh, the wedding the weddings that he do. Oh, I've been binge watching that. Uh, if I if I should be blessed for a new uh, marriage. I don't think I want a wedding. I want a nice gathering at the, you know, after we get out the courthouse, you know. Mmm. Dang, that's good. 
Mm -hmm. That's really good. What's for dinner uh, at y'all table? You know, but this is this is the family table, y'all. Y'all came to the family table. Mm-hmm. Mm. I bit my lip, y'all. Damn, that hurt. Dang, that hurt. I was told by Tina. Uh, when I said that question, if you want to talk about something, put it down below. She did. She said, and I was eating crab legs, y'all. And she said, let's talk about them legs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about them legs. They are good. They're delicious. Everybody do snow crabs. I'm talking about everybody, but they so good, especially if they're fresh, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm mm Y'all, this is just some yum goodness. Mm-hmm. Yum yum goodness. Mm-hmm. And the only cheese I had was the, the mixed uh mozzarella and cheddar. When I do my baked spaghetti, I want some smoked gouda. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I feel like I need to use my chopsticks, huh? Y'all, wait a minute. Hold up. I haven't even got into my uh, cucumber salad. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I be talking, and I didn't even start my doing uh. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I ain't even stopping time. This is probably going to be a long one. But, who cares? I know some of you only watch five minutes of that. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, y'all got to have some of this. This is good. Hmm. It's really good. I mean, really good. Hmm. Mm -mm. You know, Oh, y'all, I have uh, some sausage in my meat, too. You know, I love putting sausage in my ground meat because I think unless you do a whole lot of ground meat, it's just not enough for the sauce, you know? So, I have sausage as well. Mm -hmm. I've done it for many years. My husband uh, loved my spaghetti. Lord rest his soul. Mm-hmm. I have been thinking about him. I know he's long gone, you know. That was my only one husband. Yeah. It is what it is. Sometimes you only get one. And if that's God's will, I'm okay with it. I know he hears my prayers, y'all. But not just for me. I told y'all that I pray for every marriage. Because right now, with this COVID stuff, people are really learning their spouses. <laughs> I mean, learning because you were stuck in the house with them. And, you know, sometimes when you're both working... You only probably have maybe two to three hours a day, but when you have 24 hours, mm, they have learned, then some people have uh, broke up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Some people have really come to love their spouses too. Some some look up and say, I don't even like you. And we've been married for how many years? Mm. I don't have the answer. All I can do is pray. Because right now, I think that's what God wants us to do. Sometimes he shuts you down to get your attention. I said that on another video. He do. Why do I keep biting my darn lip? Yeah, he has shut it all down, saying, "Get your house in order." And some of uh, and some people will not do it. You know, greater thing for me many years ago when I realized on my first journey. journey being by myself for seven years, not dating, not doing anything, going through what I had to go through with God as he was transforming me. I had to learn how to be happy with me and love my time by myself. And so, you know, when I'm, while I'm going through this and I don't have a husband right now, I don't, I don't, I, not, I just don't want just a boyfriend, if I could say that. The boyfriend, the benefit boyfriend, if I say that. Because I'm okay being alone. I'm okay. I love I love me. And, uh, and I know how to be alone. You know? It is what it is. And that's when you learn yourself. You understand that? Sometimes you've got to be alone to learn who you are and to do God's will, you know? I told y'all before that some days, a lot of days actually, I'm sitting here in the quiet, no TV, no radio, no nothing, just so I can hear what the Spirit says. That's meditation, y'all. Just to sit and search your soul, you know. Boy, I tell you, we all are some beautiful people, and we all have something that God gave just for us. You just got to find yourself and and. and Find that what it, what he put in you and bring it to life because it's in you. Me, mm -hmm. he told me a long time ago that I was an encourager and I live it every day. Yeah. And also on my journey, He took me through a lot of stuff, but he saved me from it all. That's the grace, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, so when he make you an encourager, when he make you a pastor, or a preacher, a teacher, or evangelist, or whatever he put your position in, it, you 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 have to have gone through some things to teach some things. You get that? Because everything is a testimony. Mm-hmm. That was a song about that, wasn't it? One of them old Baptist songs. But what's coming to my mind right now, y'all know I can't sing. I'm not living in vain. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. 
Yeah. I know I'm a living testimony, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times when I, when I um, talk to people and I encourage people, it really does help me along the way as well. You know? I was talking to Sam I am on Friday. And he's made a move for his life. He on a new journey, y'all. And we talked about fear. We talked about staying complacent. And I told him, like I tell so many other people, including me, our life is a risk. There's so much waiting for us. But if we are afraid to move, we will never get there. So I, I told him and I, I talked to him like a big sister should. And today I got this long text from Sam I Am. And at the end of that text, he said, thank you for your encouragement. Your encouragement. That's what some people need. Sometimes, though, some people just have to talk their stuff out. And they got to talk it through without nobody saying nothing. They just need two listening ears and maybe even a shoulder to cry on. And then some people need to help them talk it through. That's my position. And that I know. Why? Because the Bible told me so. My God did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. Now, I have learned well a long time ago. Shit. Shoot. <laughs> You be talking, you get full fast. But I, 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 um, I ate a lot of pasta. Look. Mm-hmm. I put a big dent in it. But look, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. Hmm. Our lives are not just ours. You know, you got to share yourself. You know, I've been praying for many years now for two things. Because I already know my position, okay? For a new husband, should it be God's will? And to be by some beautiful water. And so now all I'm thinking about that's in my spirit is moving abroad. You know, I work at home. I can live anywhere in the world. Anywhere. In the world. Anywhere in the world. And I'm looking. But there's something about Costa Rica have been in my mind for so long years, y'all. I don't know what is it about Costa Rica. Well, right now, I have a little time because um, I just signed an 18-month contract where, I, where I'm currently living. So, I got a... Um, 14 months to find somewhere. <laughs> okay. So, I found two places in Costa Rica uh, just yesterday. And uh, one of them I say no because there was no uh, air conditioner. Y'all know we need air conditioner. So... And I can't be afraid of those, um, what you call them, guanas, what them, what them green things is, that cloud, iguana, I don't know what the hell they are, y'all know what I'm talking about. And y'all know what I'm talking about, comment below, uh, and, and, and those islands where all that, iguana, I think that's what it is, shit, I don't know, I saw one crawling yesterday when I was looking. Hmm. 
iguana. That's what it is. Yeah. So, I looked in two other places and they have nothing uh, where I would want to live. You know, I, I live a certain way, y'all. But I know going to different cultures and countries it's a little different. If I'm going to move, I want to have a place that mimics where I'm going. You know, I don't want the same modern place that I live in now. When I go, I want the colors and I want the culture. You know what I mean? I want, I want, it, I want to know that I'm there and I'm living there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all that, though. That's good. I'm mm, full. So look at y'all, that's why I come back, you know, sometimes you got to talk things through. I know a lot of y'all looking, some, some, some people are going to actually stay to the end because I want y'all to give me some suggestions where it's a good place to, to live um, in a new country with blue water and you know, turquoise water, the, the beautiful stuff where it's safe to live. So if you're looking at me, then end this video. I want you to thumbs me up and let me know if you have an idea where it can be. I want it beautiful. I want to uh, walk out on my balcony every morning. I want to get in my bed and see the water. I want to wake up and see the water when I'm sitting in my living room. I want to sometimes work on my balcony just to hear the waves hit the rocks, if you get what I'm saying. Okay? But look here, y'all. It's time to go. Let's sing our stuff out. Thank you so much for coming. Really. Thank you. Let's do it. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this evening, do it good. Do it with love. Yeah. And have a great night. This is the end of this movie. I'll see y'all tomorrow with the next movie. Goodbye. Oh, I love y'all.